Gang, quick update in the Middle Class Famous Tour. We're going to be coming to the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. That's Austin, baby. Teja. April 22nd and 23rd. April 22nd, we're going to be doing an evening with Are You Garbage. That's our stand-up show, and then we play a little AYG with the crowd. Yes, best news is it's open to the public. Get your tickets. Link's going to be in the description. You can get them on the Moon Tower Comedy Festival website. Tickies. Find the link. Get the tickies. Then the next night, we're doing a live Are You Garbage podcast recording with a guest to be determined. It's going to be good. Get your tickets to that. Austin, let's go! Bonkos! Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Grow up to just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Hey Holy, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here in Aunt Tootie's basement. She has filed her first cease and desist Ooh, order i like this judge judy who are we talking against you whoa for buying any more of those dumbass jackets <laughs> <laughs> little shot at the boss right after payday ladies and gentlemen <laughs> my co-host is coming at you from across the table mm-hmm. he's the new night rider coming out to cbs this fall yeah very powerful man in show business. Sure. Get a table in any restaurant in this city. Any Mickey D's <laughs> below 14. As long as it's not a Gallagher's on, on a Wednesday at 7. He couldn't pull that off. Could you? Kevin James I, I Ryan. I see you're still upset about that. <laughs> see, I see we've been fighting for the past. I'm over there eating at Frankie and Johnny's like a fucking jerk off. They're fucking stuck. Are you by celebrating the way. anything? What? Yeah, my GED dickhead. You should be Give cel- me a fucking martini. <laughs> you should Shut be up. celebrating that we're here because we're the only goddamn table <laughs> at dinner time. What the fuck's going on? That seafood wasn't fresh. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Man. You took, you're like, I'll take the seafood tower. I was like, I grumba. <laughs> This is here, dude. That shit ain't fresh. I have to get it out of the trash. We'll be right back. Gang, thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are true the roof, true the fucking roof, cooking, and then Patreon.com. We are closing in on our next goal. It's in the sights. The ten thousand dollar roulette Fuck. one spin that I'm still quite upset about. It's coming up at a real bad time. Uh, oh, the big man. Yeah, the big man's behind the eight ball. Oh, we got a new variant coming out? <laughs> Shut this thing down for a couple months. The, Get call, my head up call straight. It a, call it a bomb threat to fucking the Taj Mahal or whatever, wherever we go. Uh, guys, join Patreon.com. Uh, you get a shit ton. There's there's over 100 ep- bonus episodes between Hard Feelings, AYG. We do live streams. It's a fucking good time. Also, new Michelob jacket. There you Check go. Check it. It's a good time over there on the Patreon. We're having fun over there. Yeah, it is. Going to be skit scatting around the country a little bit too. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot. We're going to be doing some more uh, hard feelings in the car, stuff like that, stuff on the road, stuff from the Airbnb. Just to, you know, yeah. kind of really take. The, I mean, we really let it all hang out. Like, See me poolside. Yeah, give, we give you the inside look as is, but we're really dropping all the uh, dropping trowel. I'm there. offering full frontal nudity on the oh, Patreon. God, dude, it's literally only a matter of time. Can't you, see nothing anyway. What's you, the matter? Until you try. It's like I'm wearing a bathing suit. <laughs> Don't have to spend any money on pixelization. My little guy stays in the pool house. You know what I mean? <laughs> How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man, makes us all look good. Graduate mm-hmm. of the Stellar Adler Academy of Fine Arts. Give it up for T Bone McScruffins. I, I see, Toby McButton. I see Foley's over this. Uh, dude. <laughs> dude, he's going to. Oh, God. <laughs> Woo wee. Check out the Patreon if you want to know what the backstory on that is. How you feeling, big guy? I'm feeling great. It's great to sit down with the head coach of Iceland from the Mighty Ducks, too. This guy's uh, a pretty real good. villain vibes. Yeah, By the way, that's pretty good. You're both going to be very upset with me. So are the younger demographics out there. You're Bozo. Uh, Generation. I don't know why you're attacking me so much this episode. Because I don't like you. I don't uh, like your face. All right. Hey, like finally, it <laughs> took 287 episodes for it to come out. Your hair is growing at an incredible rate, too. It's pretty good. It looked, you had like a fresh haircut like a couple days ago, mm-hmm. and now you look like a week in. How do you sold your soul to the dude? Did you get in the Illuminati or something like that? Chewing up endochrome to get the get the fade back. Yeah, chewing on umbilical cords and shit. <laughs> get those fucking stem cells he's in me. <laughs> I go right to the source. Hey Doc, hook me up. Let me get two for twenty out the back. Chasing moils around the city. <laughs> <laughs> That's foreskin. Whatever. I'll take it. 
Uh, <laughs> it's the grossest, but most effective. <laughs> Every once in a while, what? I'll say I hate something. Uh huh. Toby will say uh, movies, TV shows. Yo, to- let's let's pull back a half. You hate everything you don't know right away. You yeah. hate it. I don't that, like that Pluto's this. got a real problem. I hate this person. I, and then you meet the person. That guy's fucking fantastic. She's the best. That show's good. That movie's good. Sure. Vegetables aren't that bad. What do you got? Oh, fuck, I almost had him. Well, what do you got now? Not in this case, unfortunately. And I apologize. I went into it with an open heart. Um, I'm 10 years older than you guys. When Mighty Ducks came out, I was in high school, 92. The grunge was big. I was, you know what I mean? I was chasing the tail around. Yeah, getting shoved in lockers and fucking <laughs> jerking off. Man, a crush stick. Yeah. Um, so I didn't like it. You guys are big fans of it. I sat down. I watched Mighty Ducks. I mean, okay. I didn't like it. You're fucking 50 years old. It was made in the 90s for eight-year-olds. Of course you're not going to like it. I thought the acting was suspect. Uh, the script was okay. I don't know what was going on with the production design. But Emilio pulled through. I guess Bombay, you're going to sit here and disrespect G. Bombay? What was his name? Gordon. Gordon the Bombay. other coach wasn't even that big of a dick. He, he was all right. He was just trying to teach him teach him right from wrong. Hey, he's the fucking one that choked, not the coach. He's just fucking trying to help the youth out of that shithole. It's got to be all-time worst take yeah. ever. He wasn't that bad of a guy. When I was a kid, the bad guys in those movies, the Goonies, the Fratellis, they'll kill you. You're comparing it to one movie. Also, I'm pretty sure it was a Disney movie. I know it was. So, yeah, so was I mean, what's, what's he going to fucking take him in the locker room and beat the <laughs> shit out of him? What to shove a fucking goalie stick up his ass? It's a fucking Disney movie. <laughs> They're kids, goddammit. We got to win this game. That coach murdered my entire family. <laughs> yeah, listen. Yeah, listen. Dude, if you don't make this shootout, I'm going to fucking kill your dad. <laughs> Where's and then the old man who fucking sharpens your skates, he's going to, Hans is going to oh, get I didn't too. like him at all. I think his name's Hans, by That the was way. the bad guy from fucking Lethal Weapon 2. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I wasn't buying that didn't shit. Didn't trust him. Yeah, not, <laughs> that Nazi fuck. <laughs> you know, he was on a U-boat to Argentina. Trust his skate shop. Innocent old man. Yeah. Then the Mossad hit squad rolls in. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Wasn't a fan. Made it, made it about three quarters of the way through it. Okay. I'll tell you who's good, though, that little Josh Jackson. From the main, uh, kid, the main kid. Yeah, from Dawson's, Dawson's Creek. Creek. Yeah, obviously, breakout star. He was great. He was great. Goldberg was our... Did you watch... That was don't, Goldberg was the second one. The first one? No, Goldberg's in this one. Goldberg's in this yeah. one. He's yeah. in all three. Yeah, oh, he had, they he, made three of those things? He had a run. In, what were they, they, in their 30s I, by the third one? I think they even... No, well, they they, they the one and then the, the USA team, I think, was the second. Then D3, Ducks quacked together or something. Let me just that say that might have been in 3D. Didn't they do a 3D at one point? That knuckle puck came at you at a different <laughs> fucking angle. Shout out to the knucky puck. Every fucking every fat kid who couldn't skate was trying to rip off the knuckle puck in roller hockey. He catches a DUI at Dewey drinking Heineken's, by the way, uh, driving around like a Z six five hundred, some piece of shit. He gets you community drive your service. mom's Jeep. My Jeep. <laughs> it's my Jeep. <laughs> he gets a Dewey. And that's what he gets. He has to go coach a hockey team. They don't even say that when they set it up. Just all of a sudden, he drives out on the ice. Yeah, it sounds like you went into this with a real open mind. Yeah, I did. I know. Man, talk about hate watching. And a something. handful of Eddies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what was. Going. I might not even watch the goddamn thing. I don't know. Anywho, yeah, Mighty not till you're just at the roller skating palace. <laughs> like what the fuck? Mighty Ducks trash. Okay, I mean, I, I sure. I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, I wasn't one of the producers on it or anything. I don't know why. Why you're throwing? I it. saw a special you, thanks at the end. You're throwing it. <laughs> you're throwing it in my face twenty years later. I'm like, not I'll, throwing it in anybody's face. I'm just telling Toby. Unfortunately, usually his recommendations turn me around. This time it didn't work. I'd be willing to take a second look at it. It was mainly for the cultural significance of the sure. the, the zeitgeist, you know. It's mm. a, it's a very popular movie. Yeah, that's what I understand. Okay, more of a slap shot kind of guy. Well, that's a film. Sure, a completely different movie. Yeah, you know I mean that'd be like comp- Taki. Yeah, Mystery Alaska. It's all right. Who? Mystery Alaska. Who's Mystery Alaska? That's, wasn't that the name of the movie with Russell Crowe when they played the Rangers? Pretty what? sure it was Mystery Alaska. 
At first, I thought you said Mr. E. Alaska, and I was like, who the fuck is Mr. E. Alaska? So I get my Mr. E- Edward Alaska? That's who I get my eddies from. <laughs> yeah, no, That's I where I score my northern lights. I don't, ooh, that was pretty good. Smoking my doobies. Yeah. I don't get that one. Well, people are clamoring for us to go up to Alaska. Nah. You wouldn't go? Not fucking anywhere near the winter. How are we getting there? You got to take one of those real small planes. Okay. Talk to you later. <laughs> A couple people hit us up and was like, yeah, I you tell you what, you guys, can... I would go just for the tr- for the fucking trip to Alaska. I'm not fucking eating your butt cheek, fucking on some hillside somewhere, with this fucking cherry freaking. <laughs> we're, not, out. we're not even. We're not, <laughs> we're not even even take off yet. You're eating my arm in the airport. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like Foley with taxi, and what are we doing here? <laughs> Foley, why'd you bring a Foreman grill? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about those little Johns. I mean, they don't. They cry. You know, whatever. How long do you think we'd make it out there? In the tundra. In the bush. In the <laughs> we'd be in a motel six in Anchorage. What are yeah, you talking I mean, about? Yeah, it's not like I mean <laughs> we're not taking a wagon up there. We're fucking we're flying into a city. Not if the skim boat goes down or something like that. The skim boat. Whatever we gotta take to get I wanna there. land I wanna take one of those planes that lands in the water. That's <laughs> out of here. That's fucking classy. I probably could You know who does that? George Clooney in Italy. Ooh. Lands right on the water. Pulls like Como? House. Yeah. Really? I seen one of them take off there. For you, it's like comb over. Huh? Really? All right. Let's get ugly. Right. <laughs> Came in here with an open mind, just like I did Mighty Ducks. Yeah. No, you've been in a shit mood since I got here. Uh, Happy to be here. <laughs> great. <laughs> Seems it. <laughs> fucking come in and fucking trash in a class. You look like right the away. world's worst bouncer right now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and I'm about to kick you out. Getting tuned up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to kick you out because you're ruining the vibe in here, dude. <laughs> the Mighty Ducks became an actual team, correct? Yeah, the Anaheim Ducks. Ah. Mighty Ducks. Yeah. There's I don't know if that was like in. I don't know. In- not as Estevez get a nickel of that? What's the deal? What's what? Is he wetting his beak on I that? I don't think so. It's fucked up. Yeah. That was a it was a good movie. It's just not for you. Sure. Definitely not for you now. I just want I, I watch Moana. I watch all the car- Yeah, Moana was made now. With But it's still for kids. I'm Yeah, but that the movies now have to are for kids and adults. It, I just playing- watched Casablanca. I loved it. That wasn't for me. It was made in the forties. Yeah, but that's a classic film. What are you talking about? So you admit no, Buddy I, Ducks is not a classic I mean, film. Get out of here. It's, it's a classic child film from the nineties, yes. Okay. I'll take another look at it. I'll do you a favor. No, please don't. I don't nah, want to have, have this conversation ever again. I'll take a look. Oh, we could do a live viewing together on the Patreon. I'll watch movies together. Popcorn? Mm-mm. Eddie's? No. Snuggle up? No. Nope. Okay. Hans almost came in today. I didn't want to Really? Yeah. If you don't know Hans, folks, he is our recent hire here at uh, Are You Garbage? <laughs> Technically, he's more of a shareholder than you. That's true. In some b- sort of will. If the, if shit were to go down. Yeah, he's the fucking boss's son. <laughs> fucking must be nice. <laughs> fucking, what's it called? Yeah, why don't you, yeah. Optimism, nepotism. Op- yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. What were you going to say? It wasn't right. No, whatever. you said optimism, and I'll I was just going to make off. fun of you for a minute, and then you finally got the right answer. What yeah, pri- nepotism. What private school is he going to be going to? Probably getting the fucking poor kids kicked out of school for some shit he did. Yeah. I see it right now. Uh-huh. Running for Congress. Yeah, if everything goes as planned, you little, know what I mean? Little dirt bag. If he doesn't kill a hooker in a couple of years, sure. <laughs> get a hold of his laptop. Get, get a, yeah, keep a clean record. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. Why was he going to come in? I had to introduce him to the team. Ah, the boys. Yeah. Starts bossing me around. <laughs> You're sniffing his ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good stuff. Gang, this is a family episode. Bam, damn. We're here. We're circling the wagons. We're here together. We're going to be answering... Your questions yes. from the old Patreon there. Y- yes. Also, by the way, get some fucking tickets to the live show. I'm not exactly sure what day this is dropping, but Chicago might already be sold out. Yikes. So get those tickies right Yikes. now. And Rosemont, pick the slack up, will you? Rosemont tickets are moving there. Uh, just get your fucking tickets. We're coming everywhere. We're going to be adding new dates, the whole nine yards. Can't wait to see you. Be out. over there at Portillo's, see Chicago. Got to do a nice dinner out there. We got to. We'll have the, we'll have a night off in town. It'll be nice. Well, not a night off. We'll have a night in town. Be nice. We're not traveling. Maybe go to a Cubbies game. Cubs will be playing by then. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. All right. 
I mean, who wants to go to a four-hour fucking game in the sun and then go do comedy all night? Okay. <laughs> Dude, but, but you barely make it to the shows as it is. You're going to be walking around a stadium complaining every 10 feet. Nah, I love baseball. What are you going to do? But go, you don't love Go walking. beat up some socias? You don't love walking. Yeah, we don't have to walk at a base. I'm not playing. I'd say I wanted to play right field. Do I you would. think you could? What are the chances? Could I play in a professional baseball game? Yeah. In right field? Right tracking down a ball. 100%. <laughs> I could handle that. You couldn't play D-ball. What I didn't say talking? I would be good. Yeah, I mean, I could stand there as well. I'm talking about I'm talking about being, you know, making a play. Maybe. Maybe. I could maybe get something going. What do you think? I don't know. Are you going to be out there in your sweatpants? Are you Are going to wear a uniform? What are we doing here? Full Philly fanatic gear. <laughs> Keeping it real. You got the hot dog launcher? <laughs> You're shooting yourself in the face? No, I'd wear the uniform. No, you'd be out in right field getting chased by bees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coach, there's a hornet's nest out here. I think it's a wasp. Is that poison ivy? <laughs> Sumac. I could handle that. I'd be a real bitch in the box, though, I'll tell you that. I'd be batting about 12 feet away from that. I don't want any of that smoke. You're having the hot dog guy throw you, throw you hot dogs onto the field. <laughs> Let me get two. <laughs> having the beer guy send them down the aisle. Let me get two. Trade all my equipment for nachos. <laughs> People in the front row. <laughs> Foley, where's your bat? Look, look over, you got a huge thing of nachos. <laughs> I don't know, coach. Uh, King do, Bozo, you, do you, think you if I, But if I was going to attempt to play one game of a major league sport. It would have to be right field. It would have to be baseball. I'm not mixing it up in the paint with fucking those dudes. I'll tell you, I'm not playing the NBA. I sure as shit <laughs> Oh, ain't. you're not? Oh, God. <laughs> T-Bone, write that down. In case he ever does join, I want to I hold him to his word that he's never going to play in the NBA. I'm sure as shit not fucking you're... mixing it up on the fucking front lines of an NFL game. Jesus What about Christ. you be punter or something? Extra, God, do the extra keep... point. What? You just got to get your foot on a ball. No, I'm scared that that was always that petrified. I get so much anxiety every time they kick a punt. Your fucking legs are kicked open. Your nuts are hanging down. That's a vulnerable position. You are? Nah, I wouldn't yeah, do that. Yeah, it would that. have to be. Or, you, you know, maybe like water polo or something. You'd get the fuck out of here. What do you mean? That's hard as shit. You could just be the goalie. No. Plus, those guys get are you, elbowing get you. a nice set of swimmies or something. No. Kick, a nice kickboard. No, those guys are elbowing you. They're grabbing at your jollo mucking under the water. Your jollo. Your, your jollo what? <laughs> That's what my mom used to call it. Your dick? She used to call it a jollo mucking? Jo your little jollo mucking. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. Hopefully that's not some racist, <laughs> some racist term from the 50s. Give, <laughs> give that a peek on the goop before you post this, T-Bone. I'm going to have to do a little snippy snippy. But yeah, you're jolly mucking. I don't know what that is. I thought that's what it was called. That's what I was told. I, the three sports, I think you could legitimately not be competitive, but, but, but do. You could of course not be competitive. I'm not an idiot. Yes, you are. <laughs> I still wouldn't be competitive. Uh, number one, sumo wrestling, obviously. I don't think so. I think those guys would run me over. Yeah, he's not. He's big, but he's not athletic. By yeah, those guys are strong. They're, they work out. Even though they're fat, they work out. You know what I think you would really dominate in? Legitimately? Skeleton. What's that? It's like the bobsledding where, you, where it's just one guy on the sled face first down the hill. Gravity does all the work. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. I know what you're talking about. What about the thing? Oh, the luge. The luge. Man. Yeah, right. You'd have, you'd have to have like four skis under you. <laughs> four of those sleds. Just a thing. flatbed. And curling. Nah, curling, you'd be all curling. right. You could be the show. Why not? I'm not doing that. It's fucking the major league. That's what I want. Baseball. Okay. Phillies, right field. Tell Harper to fucking take, take five. The big dog's coming in. You're the only guy who proposes a hypothetical question, and then when phone answers come out, you go, no, it's the one I want. Yeah. yeah. He's a fun guy, everybody. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, talk to my agent, Toby. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> my, hey, my agent does all the numbers, okay? <laughs> His name's Hans. Uh, Supposed to be in here today. All right, guys. So as you, as you know, when you join a Patreon, we will answer your garbage question yes, on sir. the air. And I got to tell you, there's been some humdingers, some home runs, some grand slams. Some deep fly balls to right field where the guy can't catch it. I got it. it. <laughs> Couple of errors. That'd be your nickname. Uh, Couple of errors. The next, uh, this one is from Ed. Ed uh, Eddie. Eddie. Shout out to Ed. Were you or did you know a kid that could flip his eyelids inside out? Oh, yeah. Oh, you could yeah. do it? 
I could do it. Oh, well, let's see. Give it a whirl now. Nah, I got contacts and shit. I can't do it now. Yeah, that's the excuse. I bored my hamstring. When I was in, it's, it's like, like third... taking an asthma attack when in a game. I've done that. All right, I couldn't do it, but we see, had... I knew it. <laughs> I... I you would have thrown that in my face when I, the day I met you. Hey, it was H. Foley. Flip my eyelids. If I, could, if I could do that, I would just have them up all the time. Sure. Are you kidding me? Freaking people out <laughs> even more. <laughs> hey, ladies. <laughs> I'd wear sunglasses and then take them off. Oh, uh, just... <laughs> what was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stink. Hey, gang, let's talk about ladder, ladder, ladder. With the rising cost of living, the world is a topsy-turvy place right now. You got student debt. You're trying to buy a house. You don't want to leave your kids or partner with a huge financial burden. That's why Ladder is the best. Ladder is 100% digital. No doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less, all you need is a few minutes, a phone, a laptop to apply online. Ladder smart, smart algorithms work in real time, so you find out if you're instantly approved. If you want to talk to a person, you can. Their team of licensed agents doesn't work on commission, so they're not going to upsell you. They're just going to help you. No hidden fees. You can cancel any time. Get a refill, re, full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. Uh, so go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today if you see, to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage. Ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile, the best in the biz. If you're trying to save some money, Mint Mobile has your back. Why are you still paying insane amounts every month for wireless? Switch to Mint Mobile. It's the easiest way to save some cash. It's the first company to sell premium wireless service online only. Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with its plan starting at just $15 a month. Uh, my, my wife, the foreign investor, has been using it for years. It's easy peasy, no long-term contracts. They send it right to your door. Uh, by going online and eliminating traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. So you choose. Use your own phone with Mint Mobile. You get to keep your same number along with all your existing contacts. It's easy peasy. Just do it. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get that plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Uh I couldn't do it. My buddy Mac could do it. I think it's a listener growing up. He could do that. He could make himself fart. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you know anybody with webbed toes? <coughs> we had a kid with webbed toes. Yeah. His name was Mike. Real weird. No, I wasn't friends with the X-Men in high school. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All my boys went full term. I don't know what to tell you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, like you got a couple of soft cookies in your batch. It was a little undercooked. <laughs> Yikes. Hey, put this one back in the oven. <laughs> throw them uh, in the microwave uh, for a minute. I, I tried. Throw them in the broiler. The, the eyelid flipping thing was obviously fucking huge at a certain time. I, all that stuff hit when you were like 12, when it was just like being yeah. weird and Double gross, joint whatever. it, the gleeking. We've talked about that. All that kind of stuff. The spit down, it almost touches and it comes back up. I tried to do the eyelid thing once. I really wanted to be that guy, mm -hmm. you know, like the kid that could that would just do all that shit at like a bar mitzvah or a party and just kill. Yeah. I tried it once and I did it and I fucking freaked out because I couldn't get it to flip back. They're bringing upstairs. Mom, mom. She saw. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. I was ended up in the emergency room. My mom tells being a nerd. My mom tells the story. Her uh, my uncle, my uncle, Dan got in a fight at like the playground. They were like kids or whatever, you know, in the city. And uh, he got beat up or hit really hard. And his eye was all fucked up, like, swollen, you know, whatever. He got socked in the eye or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was in the middle of the night, or they were, like, going to bed, and he sneezed, and it popped out of its socket. And he he grabbed my mom. I was like, is everything all right? My mom was like, ah! <laughs> Had to rush into the hospital, put Yo, his eye back. Juice. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, Talk been... about scarring you for life. Dude, every sneeze would scare me for the rest of your life. <laughs> Fucking your eye pops out one sneeze when you're 11? I'd no freak way. Out. Yeah, I, I, freak I, out. I, never, I never had any of those weird uh, couldn't you weren't, you weren't that kid. You couldn't do anything. I, I ain't got nothing. No? Not double jointed. What about this thing? Never. Make the fart sound? Never. Really? Never. I can't. Could you could you make the water come out of your thing like that? A in the little pool? bit, but not cool. Not you know, not to get not, nothing to draw a crowd. <laughs> 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 nothing to write home about, you know what I mean? We're not passing the bucket around there. Uh-huh. Um I couldn't do I can't whistle. I can't wink my left eye. 
I can only do Try it. to wink your left eye. It's bad. Go ahead. And you're going to think I'm fucking with you. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, my wife I did. All right. That's that one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's me trying. Ready? Holy Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Hold on, let me what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo! No, 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 you're fucking with us. I swear to God, dude, that's me trying to wink my left eye. Yeah, do it right again. Eye, right, right eye? The alien's taking over <laughs> Kevin's body. Go ahead. Wash over water. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> hey, Gleep Glorp, welcome to Earth. <laughs> Yikes. Dude, I don't even know what you're doing. I, I genuinely. <laughs> <laughs> I lean into it like that's like the momentum's going to give it something. I can't do it. I can't whistle. I can't do shit, man. Jesus Christ. That is what your <laughs> what? eyes keep crossing. Why does your mouth go? Why do you turn into Jerry Lewis? <laughs> Lady. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh. No, no. Dude, I see my <laughs> wife will just la- I'll, she'll like make me do it and just laugh in my face for an hour. Man. I genuinely can't do it. What more? All right, ready? Yeah. Really, really, really Here focus. Really, really try to go. Really if you're listening to this, I'd recommend getting over to the old YouTube <laughs> and check out this little piece of. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> Don't move your mouth. Don't move your mouth. It's like Popeye having a stroke. Mouth. Don't move your mouth. <laughs> I really you look like you're nothing for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Show her my whole face. T Bone's taking his shirt off. It's <laughs> the most fucked up thing I've ever seen. Wild, dude. dude. Hey, actually... no close ups on this either, T Bone, all right? It's all close ups. I, I want this in the wide <laughs> shot. Fucking Bell's Palsy Pete. <laughs> yeah, maybe Yikes. I left the fan on when I was a baby or something. I Holy can't do shit. it. I can yeah. do left eye and right eye. Boom, boom. That's I got it. Nothing. It's yeah. like the face a baby makes when you put a thermometer in its ass. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been doing that a lot? Yeah, what the fuck's going on in Queens? <laughs> when, when would you have seen that? Yeah. You don't even have kids. You don't even have any nieces or nephews or anything. <laughs> what kind of TikToks are you watching? <laughs> For research purposes. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, yeah. I got nothing, man. I got no, 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 no nothing like that. Cool. Who the fuck had web feet? This kid, Mike. Good uh, swimmer? Not real. That was the big joke. No, at least I saw him at the pool. We're like, it was just between his big toe and his middle, you know, the pointer finger toe, and it was just like, you know, maybe it didn't go all the way up. Like it wasn't like we would have burned him in bluebell. I think he said me? he cut it and it grew like it like reconnected. Wow, or that's something. even weirder. Yeah, <laughs> Jim, Pap Salamander. Hey, Powerline Pete, <laughs> relax. Will you? Yeah, dude, get out of here with that. <laughs> you fucking cook you up at the stake for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true, dude. If he, I mean, if he was born like 30 years earlier, they might have fucking oh. thrown him off a cliff or something. <laughs> right in the dumpster. <laughs> yes. It's like fucking 300. <laughs> Toss him in the recyclables. We're oh, going to lunch. That's funny. Yikes. Yeah. Good question. Great question, Eddie. Loved it. Uh, this is from Craig, and we've talked about this first time, long time. Ever go magnet fishing? No, I just wrote that down as a question. Oh, uh, shit. God damn it. Real trashy. Yeah, I love it, though. Those I love TikToks, it too. those Instagram videos, fucking sign me up. And usually, it's a wrench. It's, it is. Then you find some gun that killed fucking Johnny Button Eyes or something like that. They found them. They found them. Yeah, they find guns. Yeah, they just get called the cops. Or, I, saw, I just saw one. They well, found I wouldn't it. go doing that fucking over the Gowanus or anything out in Brooklyn for anybody out there listening. Let mm-hmm. sleeping dogs lie. Yeah, don't do that. No. Mm-hmm. I hate to break it to you, Kip. They fake a lot of those videos. Sons of bitches. Is anything real? What about those pranks in Walmart and shit like that? They're not fake, right? A lot. of uh, it's, It depends. You like Anytime there's like a guy, anytime a hot chick's involved, it's fake. There should be a rule against that. The, the UFO videos, too. I get sometimes go down a, a, you know, a UFO video rabbit hole on uh, Instagram, mm-hmm. and you know it's fake. It's like, why are people such fucking nerds? They're, cl- they're clouding it up with the real ones. If there may be some. It, yeah. I'm uh, not an alien. This is what you guys talk about at your fucking monthly meetups? <laughs> UFO <laughs> anonymous or whatever? Why would you be anonymous? I don't know. So they don't, so <laughs> you be, don't want girls knowing. So the government doesn't come and get you. Like Randy Quaid. 
Yeah, I hate that shit. Drives me nuts. Um, Fake videos. Yeah. Uh, all right. This one's from Diane. Ten dollar home. Ten dollar homet. That's a new oh, one. The homies in homets. Really nice. What? No, no. Must object. Homie is universal. Okay. Homie's gender. Uh, no non-gender. All gender inclusive. It covers every anything and anyone. Okay. All right. Ten dollar. Ten dollar homie. Now Florida's really rubbing off yeah, on him. Huh? Jesus Christ. Yikes. Um, <laughs> no, opposite, opposite, inclusive, inclusive. <laughs> hey, I'm one of the good guys. Pelosi. <laughs> I like the homets. Just got a nice ring to it. That's all I'm saying. Listen, if you want to call yourself a homet, you can call yourself a homet. Call yourself anything you want. Yeah. Just don't call me. Looking for money. <laughs> uh, this is from Diane. Never had a question read. Um, despite multiple attempts coming at the Whoa. throwing a little throwing a little fucking flare at me here. That's right, D. You don't take any shit off this <laughs> bozo. Uh, I was too busy buying cool jackets. Is it garbage to wave at a car exactly like yours? Yes. That's the Jeep thing. Yes. But I would do it I would do it in my Lumina as a kid for fun. Like I was like sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, sure. You're you a little know, kid. having fun with the buddies. Sure. You know, everybody's all high or Got whatever. A couple in you. Couple yeah. in you. A couple of heaters. <laughs> you know. I got gotcha. you. You see an old. Sh- I think it's cool if you're doing it with it. You can't be doing it with a Corolla or something. But like at the time, it had a '96 Chevy Lumina, and not many of them on the road. Not many of them on the road. And if there like was Mandalorians, you got to say hi. <laughs> they were all they, they were all old folk. You know what I mean? They were all like blue hairs, where it's just like two. You just see you know a a, a puff of hair. And but they wave back. No, they didn't know out what the was happening. Out the road, Baldy. <laughs> yeah, get out of my way, little dick. They didn't know what was happening. I well documented about the Jeep thing. The Jeep wave. But that's the only g- Wranglers. Grown men, yeah, grown men. That's fucking lame. I uh, roll around in the latitude with the attitude mm-hmm. and happened to pull up to Captain Chucky's maybe like a month ago or two months ago when I was home. And a girl pulled in with the exact same car as me. Sup, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Made a fool of Is that of in my... your mom's name? <laughs> <laughs> Made a fool of myself um, because she thought I was, like, yelling at her because, like, she was parking too close to me or something like well, that. Well, why did she think she you were yelling at her? Was there, were you? I was, I was going like, oh, shit. And she's like, what? And she got out. I was like, we got the same car. Oh, my God. Gooberville. <laughs> we got the same car. Just picking up four pounds of shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell my ma. This isn't making it home. <laughs> Holy. Speaking of some Captain Chucky's for me and my dad. I love oh, you, buddy. Oh, man. That was as bad. Remember, in the, remember in the, you complimented that lady's purse that one time? Man. Fucking remember on the elevator in like Indianapolis or something. You're like, I like your purse. I was like, holy shit, we're gonna have to fucking. This is that was weird. Whole town dried up. Yeah, <laughs> I was just being nice. I know, but you're weird. Also, at times, I was standing behind you in an elevator at the time <laughs> with two other goons standing anyway. around me. <laughs> I like your purse. No, I did. Is that genuine leather? <laughs> I believe he said genuine. Genuine leather? <clears throat> yeah, I got a couple of those. Made a fool of myself a time or two. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Yeah. Never with the cars. Again. <laughs> that was yeah, never again. Yeah. That's yeah. probably why I don't like it. Because I tried it once and it backfired. Yeah, it's not for me. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin my Captain Chuckies. <laughs> Shout out to Captain Chuckies. Makes a hell of a key lime pie. That too. sounds. I, I get you. I'm not saying it's not. I'm not saying it's not good. I never had. I don't know. You. 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 You know. It's you fresh know, seafood. You know your food and you crab cakes, lobster I, I, bisque. Okay. It Plus just, they have a wide variety of frozen selections. It sounds so trashy, Captain Chucky's. It just like sounds like. You oh, know, it's not Captain. It's Captain. Oh, it's Captain. Yeah, Captain Chucky's. Yeah, because he likes to party. It's not formal. <laughs> also, the, the the nearest ocean's about 158 <laughs> miles away. <laughs> Captain of the Schuylkill River, maybe. <laughs> Love a good shrimp cocktail. He's out there magnet fishing for the fucking clams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, magnet fishing, take a hike with that. Unless uh, you find a safe with some cash in it. Yeah, I just saw one where they found a safe, pulled it up, and then it was empty inside. Uh, yeah, who's throwing away a full safe? I don't know. Is that what you're saying? It's fake, T-Bone? Yeah, dude. Well, yeah, what are dude. they throwing the safe over, then pulling it? I mean, because they're no. really pulling it out. Yeah. Yeah, dude. 
No, they're yeah, not. Yeah, that makes sense. As a guy who makes videos for the internet, that does make sense. What are you talking? How would it your, get your, all your the barnacle and your, stuff your, on it? Your channel is based on you finding cool random sh cool shit in yeah. a river. You find cool shit in a river. Yeah, you might need to keep. Yeah, dude. I mean, come on. I got a mermaid, dude. <laughs> this is my 37th video where I ain't found shit. Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be at. I'm going to, you know, hopefully we get some tomorrow. <laughs> Seven views. Yeah. Well, there's that one couple that does it, and it funds their travel around the around the world. They're living in a van or something like that. Uh, it sounds still. like it's going great for them. Well, it's like a young, adventurous uh, couple. Rolling with that, you fucking. <laughs> They're nice people. Yeah. So they got to be catching something. But here's my thing with that: nice, adventurous couples in vans travel in the country. You always know how that ends. They're they were you're in Europe though, European. They go down to like uh, Malta and all that shit. The Maldives? No, not the Maldives. That's where the bozos go. Um, you thought it was lettuce last week, by the way. <laughs> Still think it is. Uh, let me ask you this. I'm here. Is it wrong? Yes. Is it immoral? Maybe. If you're one of those guys that goes around with your uh, metal detector on the beach, finding people's like old engagement rings and all that kind of stuff, isn't it a little fucked up to keep that stuff? Well, I mean, what are you gonna like? What are you gonna? What are you gonna take? Well, if it, it says to Tammy, love Johnny. I mean, yeah, you, I think you they post it. I think they try. Yeah, me. I'm sure a little bit. But like, hmm. I mean, how many times do, does jewelry say to Tammy from Tommy? You know, all right. This one's from Ducky. Don't know if that's his government name. Oh, that's a fucking sweet name. I right told you there. I, my neighbor Love growing up was Ducky. Ducky. Weird guy. We had a duck, as you know, growing up. Yeah. My cousin. Cousin. Oh, Patrick. cousin duck. Cousin duck. Yeah, the duck. Wow. It was the duck, Flo, Eddie Mugabe and Ziggy. Whoa. They were the four brothers. Jesus. Yeah, great nickname. Eddie Mugabe. Eddie Mugabe. Yeah, you just don't want to run into him in a fucking dark alley. <laughs> no, you don't. Eddie do. Mugabe. Woo! Eddie Mugabe in his day would tune you up. That guy can't run fast, but he does shoot straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he got does. a steady, steady, itchy trigger finger. But Ducky's great. I knew. Yeah, Ducky was my neighbor. Real. He worked for, like, NASA, but it didn't make sense because at least that's. He caught me peeking. You know how you have, like, those windows? The theory in the neighborhood was he was building a spaceship in his basement. <laughs> <laughs> that was now that's a Disney movie I'd watch. <laughs> that was the running theory, and I was always thinking, how the fuck's he going to get it out of there? You know what I mean? You build a full size spaceship in a basement. Hey, hey. You fat idiot! <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome. But that's what the kids were always clamoring that you know Ducky was building a spaceship. He worked in like aeronautics or something, but I don't know where. <laughs> He's just working on some sex swing. <laughs> <laughs> She's upside down in that. <laughs> he must be testing the G-force or something. <laughs> must be anti-gravity in that basement. Those other four guys must all be scientists. <laughs> <laughs> they can take their clothes off for aerodynamics. <laughs> yeah, you can't wear clothes in space. What are you doing? Yeah. Everybody knows that. Yeah. He was building a spaceship in his basement. I mean, we... You know, he was a weird. His car talked to him like Night Rider esque. I swear to God, it was a blue. He was really into Hence the radio, dummy. No, it was really into. I'm telling you, man, it was like a blue, fucking Trans Am looking, but it wasn't a Trans Am, but like one of those, like you know, it, like Firebird, like boxy fucking Delor Delorean type fucking oh, looking cars. Okay, you just <laughs> named five different models of cars. I know, but you know what I mean, like one of those like fucking like Firebird wasn't boxy. It was sleek and sexy. Not the older one. I feel like the older ones had that like fucking the Knight Rider car. That wasn't boxy. That wasn't round. It was aerodynamic. It was sleek. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm saying like with the you're taking boxy wrong. It wasn't like a Buick. I'm not saying that. Okay. Like the fucking yeah, like aerodynamic, but that was all like angles. That they the cars weren't rounded off back then. Okay. How they are now, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like. You see what I'm saying? No. I can tell. You're no ducky. I can tell you that. I'm not. I've, the and fucking... I doubt his car talked. It's probably his alarm, you dummy. I'm telling you, man, he would turn it on. It would go, hello, ducky. Like, he wanted to be fucking Knight Rider or you whatever. You sure one of his buddies wasn't sitting, some nerd wasn't sitting in the passenger seat? I mean, may, yeah, maybe if he was trying to fool the eight-year-old in the neighborhood. Sure, he got me. I don't know. His car talked to him. That's all I fucking know. They tried everything with you. And he was building Candy a spaceship. Work. Yeah. Let's talk about Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. One more time so they hear you in the back. Adam and Eve. You know what Adam and Eve is, but if you don't, they help you 
with sex. Sexy time, baby. Who wants better sex? Everybody does. What are we doing here? And Adam and Eve is the best way to get started is by going to adamandeve.com right now. Is offering 50% off just about any item. That's insane. They're giving the place away over there at Adam and Eve. More than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping. Uh, as your privacy is a priority, plus free shipping on your entire order. So you don't want the neighbors snooping around your packages or anything like that. You bring more pleasure and satisfaction into the bedroom, which we all want. Doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy. All will be packaged and sent discreetly for free. Go to adamandeve.com, select any one item. It could be adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter offer code GARBAGE at checkout, and you'll get 50% off Almost any item. Uh, when you do this, you also get free shipping if you go off your entire order when you enter the code GARBAGE. That's garbage at G A R B A G E at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific for this podcast, so be sure to use the code GARBAGE to get you not just the discount, but also 100% free shipping. Do it! Code GARBAGE! <laughs> and um, he caught you what? Wait, was he an adult? Yeah. He was a man. Did he have kids? No kids. Him and his wife, no kids, and they would have volleyball parties in the in the fucking summer. They'd set up like a net and play in their backyard. Against each other? Like there'd be like five or six couples come over. Now as I'm saying it, that's a swingers party. Yeah, you're goddamn right. They didn't is. even realize that. Yeah. Yeah. We would, I remember we'd be like, who the fuck plays volleyball in their backyard? Shoot some hoops. You know? Is that, were they right next to you? Yeah. So isn't that weird? Like it's, we have a fence in our backyard. Mm-hmm. But you don't have a fence. No. So isn't it weird when you're just out there on some shit Saturday, no pool, fucking sitting outside, and the neighbors are having, like, a, a party right next to you? I mean, I was eight. But, like, didn't you want to go over there and hang out? Are they leaving? With the li- weirdos who were building spaceships and playing volleyball? Nah, I'm good. You guys are getting laid, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, as an eight-year-old, who the fuck wants to go play with, like, 35-year-olds? I guess you're right. I think it's just strange. Like, right next to you is a party. Yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying, but, like, I also just wouldn't stand, like, if I didn't have a pool, if there was nothing going on in my backyard, I wasn't just fucking standing out there like a fucking goober. I was working on my winking. <laughs> um, but he caught me peeking in his windows. You know how they have those? What the fuck, man? Where? You know how they have, like, the kind of the small windows in the basement? Yeah. Like the basement windows? Well, me and a couple of the neighborhood guys got together. Like, down on, down on the ground, by where yeah. the hose is. Yeah, 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 yeah. We used to sneak in that thing like yeah, it was of course. fucking Stellog 13. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, sir. I'm with the CIA, the Children Investigation Association. <laughs> I have some I'm going to need to see some permits for this, <laughs> for this spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to come back here, it's your ass, Ducky. How was Mrs. Ducky? Looking back, type bot, like, you know, fit woman, the poof, like, kind of like a... Where was there, uh, like a, Peg, where Peg was there a NASA compound That's what I'm saying. in the, Bucks uh, County? There, there clearly wasn't. There was a Lockheed Martin. Maybe he worked there as I put that together. Start keeping my mouth shut. Yeah. Could be working Fuck. for Skunk Works. That's <laughs> Kelly Johnson's outfit. I'm still on Kippy as a little Kippy as a detective. Well, of course, Blue Bell, Pennsylvania is a perfect place to hide. <laughs> no one. You, you want to be an alien? You want to go with no one's welcome. I love my lisp in this reality. Hey, uh, Ducky, uh, one more thing. <laughs> uh, is your wife a whore by any chance? Drinking apple juice out of a coffee mug. <laughs> I'm, I'm smoking. <laughs> got a light, Duck? He walks, he, he walks down the basement. I'm in there. One of you bums got a light. <laughs> what are you doing in here? <laughs> Uh, you're right. Back door was open. <laughs> but he caught me. Peeking. And one more thing. You're at a peanut butter. <laughs> he caught me peeking, me and a couple other kids peeking in the window. We were trying to get to the bottom of this fucking spaceship. Mm-hmm. You know, I was saying there's clearly no spaceship. But, you know. Was there? No, I never saw one. But there was like a lot of. What did he say when he caught you? Nothing. He just put up like tinfoil so you couldn't see in the basement anymore. What? Yeah. Ooh, that's And this was like Coneheads had just hit, you know, that was, <laughs> we were like big into like, what the fuck's cooking down there? Let me know. If I gotta, you know, if I gotta, if I gotta defend the cul-de-sac, I'm ready and willing and able, you know. It's calm, he's building a rocket next to I know. Um, he didn't come out and say, hey, what are you guys doing? No. He didn't, how do you know he saw you? Because we were like, oh, fuck, did he, see? we rolled, we rolled outside of the field of vision, and we're like, oh, fuck, did he see us? And then the next day, there was, fuck, the window was covered. A tinfoil. Something along those lines. Something real nasty. Man, you know, like, that's kind of, fucking like, shady. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Probably put a chip in you. Why your head's so big. <laughs> what? 
Because they were bigger back then, <laughs> like computers. Oh, so they had, to, they had to make my head bigger to fit the big chip. Yeah. Okay. Uh, things are, it's, I mean, you got me dead to rights on the login. Ducky's probably working your controls from his basement right now. <laughs> I am Ducky. Um, we did that same thing one time at a... Uh, How did this come up? How did what come up? That question. How did we get there? Ducky? You activated the chip in your head. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how abort, came. abort, abort. We um, we went over. We snuck over to somebody's, some girl's house in the middle of the night, and we, he was she she was supposed to come out when we got there, mm-hmm. and we were like waiting by that basement window, and her dad was downstairs drinking, right? Okay. And we're sitting there, and we're just sitting there watching this grown man just get hammered in his basement Mm -hmm. at like two o'clock in the morning on a Friday goes over to the humidifier and just pees in the humidifier. I don't in the humidifier. In the humidifier. Was it on? I don't know. I was couldn't hear weird if he was fucking getting high on his own supply, (laughs) but he peed into the tank of the humidifier. Yeah, I would assume it was the dehumidifier, I guess, in a basement. Yeah. Dehumidifier. Yeah. Dehumidifier. We got one cooking now that you just got to. We have to have a, we have to run a dehumidifier in the basement at all times. Really, takes so much water out of the air. To, just to you know, so it's more similar to your alien atmosphere. <laughs> Wait, I'm an alien now. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> okay, still playing around with still the still treatment. working out the plot yeah. twist in this one. Are they still your neighbor? No, 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 no. They left uh, the rocket ship. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> left in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> the roof came right off. <laughs> what did he move to? Um, I don't know. We never. I mean, we do. Do you think my? Do you think Denise is keeping in touch with a guy named Ducky who's you know playing volleyball in the backyard? She threw him a going away party. Like, hey, buddy, get the fuck out! <laughs> She's in the window staring, yeah. blessing herself. I know. I, I know. Uh, yeah, looking at them knowingly, they're all gonna go inside and have an orgy. Fucking dirt bags. Yeah. <laughs> She's got stuck over there dealing with you. <laughs> fucking Play-Doh in your hair. <laughs> Dog shitting on the carpet. <laughs> I can thumb up your ass. Uh, oh, man, God. I can't believe he didn't dime me out. He didn't? Yeah. They weren't. They never. Listen, we grew we, we, we grew up all. Uh, all like there was like 10 houses were built my street and everybody moved in at the same time. They then moved in once the first person moved out. So they and they never ingratiated themselves. You know, like these 10 families all moved into the 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 street at the same time so everybody knew each other sure you know and like the kids were all the same age we we're all it was just like you know one big community little jaunts right and then they moved in and fucking never ingratiated themselves in the fucking thing so everybody was like good riddance you know man maybe he did work for nasa that's all adding up did he have a was his car his or was it like a government car the one that talked to him was his. Well, that was Ducky's personal car. What did he take day to day, though? Did he take like a late model Plymouth? I don't remember what it was, but that was part of the, the guy's an ET. Lot. Yeah. Dude, Kippy, this guy's good. Yeah. The spaceship wasn't in the house. The car was the spaceship. You fucking now idiot. Now we're talking. Yeah. Now he's probably over there in Russia with Putin. Why would you take a spaceship to Russia? Why not? Commercial flights go daily. Yeah, but he can't take the car there. What? He's working for the other side. <laughs> they pulled the wool right over your eyes. We're going to let your country down, Baldy. They're going to have your badge and your gun over this. No shit. <laughs> God damn it. Put your roll and your cheese sticks on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my sight. <laughs> Fat little gonna, fuck. <laughs> going to need your uh, butter roll and your cap gun, Kippy. <laughs> <laughs> You're on desk duty. <laughs> Two weeks, no waffles. Man, love the fucking frozen waffles. Don't get me started. I would come back from school when there was nothing real, and I would make waffles, just no syrup, just waffles and probably a can of Coke or something. Just dry waffles, eat dry Eggos and a can of Coke. Maybe a little peanut butter or something on them. Watch a little Judge Judy. Now, DRL was big at that time. So I would call in and try to talk to Carson. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. Did you? <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, you know you were. No, dude, no, dude, no you way. You got three phones going? Looks like a uh, hot oh, one. Oh, hold on one second. Uh-huh. I'm just requesting Britney Spears videos. <laughs> trying to get my wank on. <laughs> to, to wail on myself. I'd like to see Lucky one more time. <laughs> Can you play it back to back? Before 4.15 about, if possible. How about Toxic by Followed with a Lucky? In slow motion. And then bye-bye-bye, if you don't mind. 
Those NSYNC boys had tight little bods on. Yeah, they did. 275 calls finally got through. Couldn't speak. Mouthful of dry waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> My neighbors will call me. Oh, uh, God. Did you ever go to TRL? Dude, I, uh, my family uh, has been in New York twice. Have you ever been in a, not the time that you guys went to, whatever the fuck you went to up here, when you went to The View or whatever you did, but as a kid. A studio audience? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know, I, was, I, was I was in double there, You've which said I've this. mentioned. Yeah. My boy Steve Pyle won the whole thing, won the race car. Told was it this televised? Many times. No, it was an old radio show. Yeah, you fucking pinhead. It was televised. It was the first season of Double Dare. Well, we should be able to find it. If you, you probably were... weren't even born yet. Maybe it was around 86, 87. Yeah, then maybe I was born. Tough guy. Yeah, you were a year probably old. Sitting, I was sitting there making fat Should've jokes. Should have went back in time and killed you. I like was baby probably Hitler. 18 months making fat jokes. <laughs> hey, look at that fat little shit in the second row. No, I wasn't Picking in the second row. Picking and eating his nose. I was in the back. Uh, couldn't, afford the, <laughs> you couldn't afford the nice seats. <laughs> back there in the cheap seats. Who, I'll take two. Stand Scalper, out, scalper standing out front, yeah. Stand out front of some fucking warehouse. No, but I didn't get picked to be on the show, and it hurt me deeply. Would it fit down the slide? What were you talking? <laughs> I guess I didn't think I had what it takes to be on TV. You don't. Let's not start. This okay, again. I'm sorry. I didn't really. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I was just disagreeing with yeah, you. Apparently, for, I don't. I comedy, can take it for comedy purposes. Yeah, I didn't think I had it. They lined us all up, and they went, and they did one, two, three, pick. I knew what was going on, too, and I really, really wanted it. That's why. It was going to be my big break. They can sense it on you. Had, like, a suit on and everything. Everyone was making fun Scarf, of me that day. sunglasses. <laughs> ordering a double fucking macchiato, yelling at somebody. <laughs> I brought my own slime. <laughs> <laughs> Just boogers. <laughs> I've been shaving up for months. Slime was huge. You were too old when Gak dropped. Remember Gak? Gak and Floam. Floam was all right. I don't think we're talking about the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plenty of Gak. No, Gak was like the wet, like mushy, and then Floam was like a bunch of little beads stuck together with like yeah. color. Why were you playing with it? But my cousins played with it. I had younger cousins. Hmm. I know what Gak is. Doesn't check the out. The beady stuff. No, that's Floam. I just Damn. said. <laughs> I'm cool, I swear. <laughs> I love Mighty Ducks. Slime. The original slime was all right. You can get it in the little uh, things in front of the grocery store for uh, a nickel, and then yeah. you ruin the interior of your dad's <laughs> Jeep. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> that, you know what? Get thrown out of a sizzler. You know what I was fucking surgical with, too? No, hold on. Stop. Mm hmm. The long, sticky hand With that you would hand. throw. I had, yeah. a, I had an orange one that was like my sniper rifle. Dude, I... Uh, Ooh, he's a dead eye. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Okay, kids, pop quiz. You looking for this? Yeah, I could take an eyelash off you. Bam! Real quick, you didn't see it coming. I was hitting my dog and shit. I was fucking, I was tight with that it. That thing was something else. Uh -huh. All you had to do was wash it with a little soap and water. It was like brand new. I know. Same thing with those little octopuses that walked down the wall. Uh, we never had those. You don't remember them? Uh -huh. They came in uh, cereal boxes like Cocoa Puffs and stuff. You throw it up against the wall and it would slowly walk down. Love that shit. I used to love looking through the cereal box for a little toy before school. They used to give out legit shit. Like they used to give out actual like cars like that would be at the bottom of those things. Until you bit one, crack a tooth. Yeah. Now it's all bullshit. I never really got into it. It seemed real cracker jacky to me. I would love to take one of those things straight in your forehead. I'm telling you, I was good. I had an orange one or yellow like gold. Yeah, those things were all <laughs> right. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I was fucking. I feel like a mob boss. Uh -huh. <laughs> all my friends are fucking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you want a fresh one? <laughs> Hit you from across the room. I don't even need to be next to you. Oh, man. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, stop me if we talked about this. We talked about something similar. I think we talked about the pepper in the beer. Yes. One ep like yes, we did. An episode Recently. Or two ago. People put pepper in the beer to keep the head. <laughs> this one, this is from Quinn. You or anyone you know sprinkle salt on the napkin at a restaurant before setting your drink down? Why? So the napkin doesn't stick. Yes. I think those little, I, I did some research into this because I didn't get it. Those little, like, thin bar napkins. Like, say you go up to a vault, like a dive bar, 
And then, you know, they don't give you a coaster. They, they throw the napkin. Sure. Put your beer on that. That starts sweating. It, like, that gets wet and becomes like fucking, you know, wet paper at the bottom. Uh-huh. Apparently, if you sprinkle some salt on it, it's kind of gentleman-esque. You sit it on that, and that stays. The salt absorbs the water rather than the thing. Have you done that, or do you know people that have done that? I've never seen anybody done That's it. That's real bar fly shit. I like it, though. I've been in a few saloons with some rough customers, threw a little salt down. Yeah, I like really? that. That's cool to me. But it gets all over the bar. He's got to wait. Who has salt on the bar? Do you have to say, hey, excuse me, can I have some salt? That's, unless you bring your own. You know what That's I mean? That's weird. <laughs> hey. That's weird. That's a conversation starter. <laughs> Some bars will have the like like the setups with like the ketchup in the yeah the that'll be in like the thing like every like four seats or whatever. I don't know. I'm just saying these are old time bars. Seems things. like a lot. I always like when the when the napkin sticks because it's like a little ready made thing. You don't got to worry about it. Just you put it down. Okay. Yeah. I don't care if it, I have a. I guess some people are a little more hanging. particular than you. You know. Maybe Kevin. Maybe. Sure. This one's a home run. Sam, ever had joint bank accounts with your girlfriend? No. That's bad. You're getting in financial Girlfriend. Bed. Yeah. Not a wife. Not a fiance. Mm-mm. Me and my wife don't even have joint accounts. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, you're dead weight to her. I know. She wouldn't allow it. She's okay. like, I'm not letting the fucking IRS get their fingers. You know, whatever mess you've gotten into, <laughs> come back and bite me in the ass. <laughs> No, uh, thank you. Yeah. T-Bone, never? No way. I Any have... relationships I've ever been in, that, that level of serious, it was, a, it was like, it was like, holy shit. It was like, you don't ask, I don't ask, we don't ask, nobody knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what you got, you don't know what pull I got. The wall, and pull we'll, the wool over their eyes. Yeah, we're chilling. Yeah. I, um... I knew what they got. I knew what they had. Never much. Sure. But I'm sure you were tap dancing about what you got. Uh no, I was always pretty open and honest about that. Takes a village to raise a foley. Yeah. Uh I uh fuck. Someone in my family would have to take that out. <laughs> someone in my family <laughs> I had someone in my family who, you know, might have dabbled in some extracurricular activities. Like maritally? No. Okay. Substance wise. Okay. At um, partaking or distributing? Mucho partaking. Partaking to the point where it was Okay. Way past weekend war. Well, that's more charming. That's innocent. Um Hey honey, we had five grand in the account on Friday. Now there's a dead hooker. What's the deal? Sure, no, but it was that. So uh, they were talking she, she was in a relationship with a guy. Uh huh. Who was also, you know, suffering or struggling with Addiction, or you know, this is a broad party, partying too much. Yeah, and uh, I remember that we were at Christmas or something, and she was like, "Yeah, things are going well. We're gonna move to Florida." And I was like, "Ooh, that's not fucking good. That is never a good." Yikes! So in that, and it's like I grew up with a lot of drug addict couples. Sure, right? like a lot of my friends and like you know people like acquaintances all like exclusively. They all became like you know. They were in couples, and then they were spending so much time together because they the were doing the drug addict couples. Together. A tough look, the toughest. And she goes, "Yeah, things are going. We're going to move the." You know, and my mom doesn't know. My mom didn't know that how bad it was. But I'm looking. I'm going, "Oh, you guys are fucking. You're barely keeping this." Yeah, closer to South America. That's never a good sign. But my mom was just like, "Oh yeah, maybe you know, maybe they smoke weed or do Adderall or so." Like my mom doesn't. I remember the one time you hit her with the orange thing. <laughs> you dumb broad. You dumb broad. She's all fucked up. She's going through your purse right now. <laughs> Which she did. She stole TD gift cards out of my mom's purse. You catch your hand going in. <laughs> <laughs> it's my brother's. <laughs> Oh man, I like this thing. We gotta get one of these. <laughs> we gotta get yeah, one. All order. I do for hard feelings, which is laughing. I get a real long one, snipe Toby. Maybe they're smoking. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. My mom said that to me one time uh, about a, 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 a family acquaintance or whatever. She was like, "Smoking, smoking weed." She got more track marks than the Eastern Railroad. Dude, what are this, you talking about, dude? This this girl. I was in college, and so was she. And dude, her teeth are falling out of her face. She's like, like full blown in the throes of proper drug addiction. And my mom goes, "I was like, did you see fucking? Did you see Heather? God damn!" My mom's like. I think she's doing Adderall. I'm like, Adderall? 
Adderall to get you fuck. You take Adderall to study for a test. The this dog's girl, doing Adderall. Yeah, what are you like, this girl's fucking boof. This girl's fucking mainlining this shit. Hey, honey, she ain't behind on her finals, all right? This, this ain't CBD we're talking about. <laughs> She's blowing for tricks down at the docks. What are you talking oh, about? Man. I hope to. Okay. But <laughs> tip your mic up a little bit, Kip. Yeah, sorry. Um, how do we, I don't even remember how we got there. <laughs> Oh, no, the bank account. And she was like, well, we're going to move to Florida. And we're like, oh, good. You know, cool. Like, you know, and she was like, we just got to get a bank account. And, and she like, took the turkey bones. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, we just got to get a bank account. And I was like, oh, my God. How old are you? I'm in college. We were all the same age. I was in my twenties. We just got to get a bank. I'm like, there's no way you got two forms of ID. <laughs> you don't, you don't know where your social security card is, Tuts. And I got, I'm gonna put money on it. You ain't got a goddamn passport either. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, it's a good piece of business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's she doing now? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. There's certain sections of my family. It's ex- obviously very extended family, and the you know we don't always cross paths. And see her at the Florida shows. <laughs> <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't come to Tampa. I probably honestly I wouldn't even recognize her if I saw her. Really? Yeah, we had very little interaction when we were younger. That's it. Okay. And then, like you know, kids or whatever, and then. My mom would stay in touch with that side of the family and sure. stuff like that. I don't mean to make light of it, obviously. No, of course. I mean, you know, like I've said, I had a lot of friends who struggle with addiction and still do. It's very tough. So, sure. Um, I just One sitting it, across from you. I, very true. And one sitting over there in the car. Co- Jesus Christ. Oh, that's right. You guys got to learn how to handle your shit. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of bubble gummers in here. Know, right? A couple of weekenders. <laughs> hey, buddy, you want to go pro? Get a jacket, all right? <laughs> Steve owns so mad right now. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I was just thinking that's the thing about real pros. Is that you blow your knees out, you got to retire early, dog. Yeah. yeah, Bo Jackson ran so hard he pulled his hips out of his socket. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Bo Jackson also pulled my hips out of my socket. Because I, I beat got, him I, on a bag. I got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, I, I tried to sell him point eight. <laughs> he wasn't buying it. Got drunk and ran my mouth at an after party. Uh. Good stuff. Great Good times stuff. Here. Good stuff. We're Great cues so good. far, Kip. I got to say, of, I, I don't know you. if it's the jacket or what. The jacket's nice. This is the best one by far. Got it tailored, too. It came real big. Really? Got it tailored. Tailored? Uh-huh. They must have laughed at you. No. Oh, it's just his boy Taylor hooks up jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I cut it right down the middle for you, dude. <laughs> no, the lady was like, oh, this is nice. Ja- very old jacket. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The- they're, so they're vintage. I'm they're buying them all vintage. There's a couple of new ones, but they're all vintage. So the sizes are all wonky. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, this is an XL, and then it's like fucking huge or it's really small. So I vintage get- might be a strong word. Do you concur, Mr. McMullen? No, nah, it looks like it smells like a dart league. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it smells like a bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All right. That's the jacket talking now. <laughs> Throw rocks tonight, Kippy. Look out. Hey, KJ's here. <laughs> Kippy did the first half. KJ's going to close her out. <laughs> also, I've been posting all the pictures of the jackets on Instagram going like can't stop, won't stop, like whatever. Dude, the comments from the fucking bozos and the homies are so fucking yeah, funny. It's a good time. It's great. Um, all right. Let's see here. Let's do a couple more. Then we got to rip it up. This one has the big man written all over it. This is from Sue Chef Boyardee, home run of a name. Fantastic. Uh, ever use a hairbrush as a back scratcher? <sighs> Have I? I've used a hairbrush as a fucking ball scratcher. And oh. let me tell you something. You want to talk about Wait, entering the what? gates of Valhalla? Yeah. A fucking one what of the, kind of brush? Like a like you, a you know the wooden ones that have the that they have the the thing with the little white tips on them or whatever sure yeah, yeah. they're my, mine are black and it, you know compresses a little bit yeah let me tell you something yeah, i can you sit maternity style on the couch buck What's naked maternity style with your legs up like you're about to deliver a baby and you just get in there whose brush is this? this is your your lady's brush no it's my brush it was my brush this is years ago 
to burn that thing? <laughs> okay. It's my brush. It's the brush that I have now. It wasn't that and long. And you use now. it on your head. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I rinse it off. Sure. But I've recently discovered the joys of scratching the taint. It's almost orgasmic. What do you mean, scratching? In between the gooch. In I be- know what the taint is, but what do you mean, scratch? Like, do you, like you're saying going when down you have an itch? Scra- yeah. Or you're just like, I'm going to get my it daily gets, scratches it in. It gets started. Yeah, it gets started. Before there's an itch? Or no, it's kind of a little itch, and then you get down there, and then everything starts itching, and you just... Man. That's pretty good to do. And you take a big whiff after that. Yeah, sure. You know, you do a flyby. You buzz the tower. I'll sample the vintage. <laughs> but the Phew. best is in the shower. My shower brush that I have. Fucking go in there. <sighs> there, your eyes roll in the back of your head. Feels so good. God. It almost feels like you're about to. Uh, it's what it feels like. It's a family show we do here. This is like Mighty Duck Seven. We're doing. You're talking about. Using a fucking shower. Well, brush you're asking me the hard hitting questions. To clean your gooch. It started off as a back scratcher. You immediately took it to your no nos. I end. like a fork on my back. But I now have a brush that we got from Sephora that exfoliates. So I get scratched down. I'm trying to exfoliate. You know what I mean? Get rid of you. Uh, pretty cute. That was Kevin, not the jacket. Yeah, no Don't shit. blame the jacket on that one. <laughs> Jacket's going to have a word with you when you get out of here. Did you ever know anybody that had those things? They were like square things. The metal. And you could put your hand in it and it would no, like leave only an impression. The Spencer's had those. Yeah, one, we, one kid. We were had never them. allowed to buy them. No. I think, a, I think a buddy might have had one. I think Pat might have had one, maybe. What about the about spaceship? It. That Like those things that you'd put on your desk, the, like the balls that would go back and forth, or like the thing that would. Like that was all itself. stuff that, like, what? No, that was like stuff lawyers would have or doctors <laughs> or something. That's not. The Ryans aren't buying that stuff. The like brain teasers and shit. No way. S- spending fucking Bernie money on fucking brain teasers. Those ball things were pretty cool, though. They snap, take bit back. Yeah, that forth. was like what a judge would have or something. <laughs> Small claims court, obviously. He's not handling the big cases. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's wrap it up. We got to wrap up. All right, gang. Listen, we fucking love you to death. Love you. Come ya. see a live show. See you on the road. See you on the road. Support the Patreon. Support the Patreon. Guys, I know. Also, there's obviously we're gaining new listeners and stuff every every week, every month, every episode, whatever. We appreciate it. We, we love We this. appreciate all the support. I, I can't express the amount of high quality content that's on the Patreon. Honestly, I yeah. mean, there's oh, almost a year and a half or, you know. 15 months of weekly episodes of Hard Feelings. That's just me and the big man and T-Bone. You know, no guess, but just real fucking... You'll laugh, letting you'll it all cry. Fly. We, it, we really pull the curtain. We get in arguments. It's like an HR meeting for the team. You think we're a piece of shit here. What do you see Woo! on a Patreon? Yeah. Thank for you so much for everything. Off. If you've ever just watched the show, shared the show, anything, uh, we fucking love you. Thank love you. Love you to death, and we'll see you next week. Peace.